Man, it's, uh, it's been a good week for us. And uh, they called me a week ago, and uh, I was, after Tom Brady won, I was like, man, there's no way I'm going to lose. So I was like, 100%, I got to take this fight. So you're able to make it a 170 pretty easy on one week's notice. And you're a guy who doesn't like to take a lot of time off. And we've seen guys like Mickey Gall saying they want to make the drop to 155. Are you thinking about that as a possibility as well? Uh, no, not at the moment. Uh, I'm one of them guys where I don't want to kill myself cutting weight. I'd rather be going to the fight healthy and uh, not have to kill myself for six weeks, seven weeks, and then lose the fight before the fight. I'd rather go in there healthy and uh, happy faster than all these guys. I don't think I've ever been out-muscled by anybody in any of my fights. So I just want to go in there and uh, just be healthy for the most part. You were, you switched it up towards the middle end of the fight, taking it to the ground and you had a clear edge. How did you feel the striking was going earlier in the fight? How would you rate your performance there? Uh, I was doing all, I was doing well. Uh, my coaches wanted me to uh, isolate his leg, and so I was going for a lot of leg kicks, and uh, I was landing it. And then uh, we knew that we wanted him to think we were going to stand up and then take him down. So uh, I started. I probably took him down a little late than my coaches wanted, but it's a learning process. Uh, I'm getting better every fight, and uh, I plan to keep getting better. What, what was it, uh, What was it about his striking that was a little bit difficult? Was it his speed? Was it his reach? Uh, it, it's basically the reach uh, that I had to just get past the, the his length. Uh, there's really nothing special about it. Uh, I, f I f train with guys his size. I train with guys that fight like him. So uh, it was just one of those where I needed to just get used to the timing and everything like that. So it took me a little longer than I wanted. You got the win, but you got on short notice. Are you done taking short notice fights? Do you want to have a camp where it's, everything's full on, prepared, ready to rock, no more of this lightly known stuff? Uh, I'm actually I'm one of them guys that I like to, I train all year round no matter what. So uh, anytime they got a fight, I'm just happy to take a fight, man. I'm trying to get within five or six fights this year. So. Uh, I just want to keep the ball rolling and keep the train moving. How are you feeling physically? I feel good. Uh, bumps and bruises, but nothing uh, too serious. I saw you limping when you walked in. What happened? <laughs> uh, I kicked him a lot, man. Anything surprise you in that fight? Nothing really surprised me. Um, I just needed to start a little quicker uh, with my takedowns, I think, and I think it would have been a lot easier fight for me. Uh, I think I could have ended it earlier than uh, going to a decision. Uh, we knew I had a, a big advantage on the ground, and that's what we worked on within this last four days that I had trained for this fight. So uh, just starting off a lot quicker than I, I need to. What was the plan just to do that, to strike with him, see how it went? It didn't go as much as you wanted to go that way, just take it before? Yeah, I'm one of them guys where uh, I feel like I'm well-rounded, so I can strike with a striker or uh, grapple with a grappler. So I wanted to go in there, get the feel for it. I didn't want to go in there with one of them guys and say, oh, I'm just going to go in there grapple. That's my game plan, grapple. Then get punched and be like, oh, what do I do now? So I wanted to go in there just to get a feel for it. That's what my coaches always uh, want me to do, get a feel, see how it's going. And then uh, if the grappling's there, take it. If it's not, if I'm beating him standing up, I'll just keep punching him in the face. Why not? I know you always have a really strong support system with the fight being on such short notice. Were you able to get all those people to come out with you? Yeah, man, it was crazy. Uh, I was still able to get like 20, 30 people that fly down with me, man. I have a lot of people that support me, man, and uh, they're the ones that make me stronger. So just, just to hear the crowd screaming my name in his hometown felt good.